What's everyone doing today? It is, uh, I think it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It's 5.45 p.m. right now. Great afternoon. It's all rainy outside. My dark. My room is all dark and I'm scared of monsters and I'm fucking freezing as shit. Ah! But anyways, guys, I don't know what I'm going to be talking about in this commentary. I'm kind of coming in, in it fresh and I uh, don't really know what I'm going to be talking about. But I got an idea and I don't know where, how I'm going to start it, but I'm just going to say it. Most YouTube commentators at this point of where I am at, as in, in terms of at, like being where I'm being in, in terms of that um, small, I guess you'd say. Um, also, not very popular or not very big impacts on the YouTube community. Always compare themselves to the big YouTubers. Um, it's just for example, you, you, Woody's Gamer Tag, White Boy, Mark of J, all these big guys and stuff like that. Um, this doesn't really count for those big, uh, I mean, not big, but semi, semi. Uh, founded YouTube channels, you know, Gold, uh, Dutchy DC, you know, all those guys, you know, Eric, everyone around the, I should say, 2,000 subscribers to about, you know, so on, okay, from 2,000 subscribers and so on, they don't have this problem, but everyone below that line, I believe, are always comparing themselves to these big guys, and then when they do that, is a, they what they start to do is um oh i didn't even introduce the gameplay i'm a dumbass i'm using the night type 95 because that's the only gun i can actually use in this game lol um it's tdm on arcaden i think it's called i don't know but um i'm not really good with the maps so far yet it's gonna it's gonna take me a while to memorize the only maps i remember is interchange and dome and uh, some others that i don't remember hard hat i think it's called but anyways so um, everyone's comparing themselves to these big YouTubers, and then they get down on themselves. You know, I've seen so many YouTube channels, they, they, they have like 500 subscribers, but they just don't get enough views, or they don't get enough likes, or they don't get enough comments, and there's just not enough people following them, and they get all the depressed, and then they start playing, they start making the YouTube videos, you know? And I, people have thought I have done that. People have thought I've given up on my YouTube scene, because I didn't upload for maybe a week and a half or two weeks, but the only reason that... I don't upload is because half the time I am busy and the other half the time I'm just trying to relax. Um, as most of you guys could know, I'm very busy. Um, it's either trying to give you something. If I'm not personally busy, I'm trying to give you something um, as great as I can make it. You know, um, When I mean busy, that 150 subscriber special, that took me three hours to make. Um, and it also took tw uh, not tw <laughs> it also took about 13 to 14 hours to upload to YouTube even though it was 26 minutes so um yeah <laughs> it takes a while but you know this is the dedication I give to you guys and I've never wanted to want you guys to think that I've given up on you um I was talking to gold on Skype a couple weeks ago and um, I told him I, I just don't feel uh, I guess honest with you guys. And what I mean by honest, I mean, like, I just don't feel like you guys have given me so much, like, you know, giving me support and feedback. But the only thing I can give you guys back, he said, was great videos and content. I didn't even know this was a shock. And I was like, oh, shit, shit. <laughs> but, you know, like, that's the only thing. And I just don't feel, I feel like I should give you guys more, you know. And I don't know. But I, I probably will in the future as long as I, when I get that bag boy money from my public stock where shopping is a pleasure. Yay, yay. No, no advertisement Publix. I'm sorry, but you have too much money, god damn it. Anyways, um, you know, it's just that small YouTubers, they just, they compare themselves to these big, big guys with thousands and thousands and thousands of likes and thousands of views and favorites and money involved and everything. And it's just, what I don't get is like, why, why do you care? I mean, I understand that people do want their videos to be seen. I mean, that's everyone's goal to maximize their views on YouTube. But when it's the main concern, you're, I, I don't really understand why it would it, why would it be a main concern in the first of all. If you like watching those, if you like making the videos, just keep making it. If you're the only, if you have ten views and those ten views are you, so what? Because you still get the fucking feeling of saying, hey, I made that fucking thing and it's right there. You know what I mean? Because you can't really, you can't really depend on yourself of being some big YouTuber. I'm a hundred percent. I know a hundred percent that I'll never be a big YouTuber. I know for a hundred percent that I'll never be at the stage of when my idol at Anners or Adam would w is at right now. You know, almost a million subscribers, and I know for a fact that I'll never ever be at that. I guess hierarchy of where he is right now, and that's my total dream 
it honestly is to get to that point of where I can make money to help support my parents and stuff like that. Like the first thing I would ever buy with my partnership. Okay, well, this is a lie and this is not a lie actually. Um, I told uh, a subscriber that I buy a PS3, which is probably true. I would buy a PS3 so I play with my PS3 friends. But you know, the first real major thing that I would buy with a YouTube partnership would be a Tempur-Pedic bed. You guys are probably what the fuck is a Tempur-Pedic bed? You know those, you know those really comfortable beds that are like really, really soft. And everyone's like, why would you buy a mattress? Because it's not going to be for me. It's going to be for my parents. Um, my mom, as most of you guys should know, have a back problem that cannot be cured. It cannot be fixed. And um, the only way it could be fixed if you pretty much just tear her spine out and put in a completely new one in there. Um, and that's why I, I just kind of want to help her. You know, I kind of want to help her. Kind of want to help my parents pay bills because sometimes I look in the refrigerator and um, there's not that many stuff. There's 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 really not that many stuff. Um, and that kind of gets me. You know, just that that kind of it sounds lame in terms of like how could a like bad thing turn into positive? But you know that that encourages me to make videos to help my parents. Um, everyone with, you know, money wants to buy something themselves, but me, I have everything I need right now and my parents don't. And, um, that's the first thing I would buy for them. But people need to understand that when you compare yourselves, you got to compare yourself with someone of your standing, someone in your clique, someone in your group. Cause if you come, if I compare myself to president Obama or the, you know, prime minister or whatever you guys have, um, it's not going to happen. It's never gonna happen. You can never compare yourself. You gotta take baby steps to everything you go to. And um, when small YouTube channels quit on themselves because they're not getting the positive feedback they want, there's that's no reason to quit at all. You always gotta keep striding yourself. You guys gotta push yourself, push yourself to the limit. I constantly try giving you guys the greatest things I could ever give you. Um, I try giving you guys a lot of videos, and um, that's all I can say. I mean. Just keep, I guess, keep your, keep at it, keep going at it. Don't ever give up, I guess you'd say. And uh, that's all I gotta say. I hope you guys like the little ending I have for you guys right now. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna give my uh, shout out to my friend Unit. He did a great job doing all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Owners and tastemakers make us no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle man and inhale the vapors, madman. Huh. Old ten times.